You is a peeping Tom. On episode four, that means we're halfway done with this shit. Ah, damn, bruh. That means we're gonna be on season seven in like no time, bruh. And then after season seven, we ain't got shit to watch until season eight comes out. Y'all better uh, find out what we gonna be watching, bruh. Uh, I remember y'all mentioned uh, the kingdom, something like that. It was like kingdom or something. Leaky blinders. I think someone mentioned that before. Um, you know what? I might, I might finish uh, Viking season six. I took a nice little time off of that shit. You know what we here? Y'all know what we here for? Outlander episode four. Uh, Martin, Brianna, Alicia, uh, Sir Cross, Bridge, Shay, Lisa, Rian, Anna, Fred. I know what it is. Shout y'all out. Shout y'all out. There's nothing else to. Other than y'all can, you know, get my book, check out my short films. I'm done with my part three um, script, and I got my actor, so hopefully later on this month, I can record what I have to record and then edit it. And then. So yeah, stay tuned for that. <clears throat> and uh, let get it, let get it. You have nothing to fear from us. We will love you. And defend you. As we love and defend one another. Good. Look at uh, Rolo. Of course, you will be called Guaho. Lochia. Wolf's brother. <laughs> ah, Wolf's brother. That fucks with that name. Okay, that is your wife. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a song. Mary of soul, he sailed on a day over the sea. I do like this, uh uh opening not the song but i do like the opening every season the, i don't know it just gives like a wondrous type of feel i don't even know if that's a word but fuck it i think my favorite uh opening song is literally the first season First and second season, because those two kind of sound the same, I guess. At least I didn't hear no uh, difference. I know he doesn't say smoke it up, but that he sound like he's saying it. So they having sex, aren't they? They just got done having sex. Yeah, there, there, there you go. <laughs> hey, remember when the uh, second season came out and I was like, she got gray hair in her hair, man. <laughs> I suppose. She got so much gray hair in her hair now. Thunderstruck at the end. <laughs> Did I teach you that phrase? I've heard you use it. No, that particular figure of speech relates to extreme speed, not lubricated brilliance. Uh, I can be fast too. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe then. Tell me. Yeah. For about 60 years from now, the government will force the Cherokee off their land. They'll move them a thousand miles from here. I can well what governments are capable of. Eight thousand of them will die. God damn. Damn. We'll call it the Trail of Tears. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I don't know. I just it didn't seem right to know and not. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. I, I was looking up the gold rush, seeing when that was. That was 1849, I think. That's what it says right here. And she says 60 years from then, but I, I can't even remember what time it is right then and there. It's like... Now I gotta look up... <laughs> Seventy-five. Seventeen seventy-five, right? Seventy-five. Oh no. Oh. <clears throat> Crescent Cherokee, a three-feather dust away. It's Mohawk. Segol, Ogo Halo Gia. Greetings, host brother. Oh shit. Oh shit. What happened? Chief Cher Cherokee died? Or came. I was first learning their language. Could not pronounce her name properly. So I called her Emily. <laughs> it made her laugh. It made me laugh. It's just funny. She don't look like no Emily. I look like a Carol. Go. Why you on how way? Why you on how wet? I say that again. I yo how wet? I yo how wet? I yo I yo it. What is it? Oguaho. Wolf, my clan. The Wolf Clan. <clears throat> you need to go find a uh, a uh, Rand Stark. You need to find one of them Starks, man. Okay, Emily. See, that's all you have to do to get to a man's heart. Even Gahilodun was like my brother. You're raising Jo Yoon's child. We will all raise her, but she will stay with Jo Young's sister. You loved Jo Yoon very much, didn't you? I did. But she chose another. And you? Will you choose another? We do not choose Oguhalo Chia. They choose. Shit! Y'all women better get to start sh choosing. <laughs> is. Oh, I'm looking for a lighter. My lighter's in the other room. I don't want to go get it right now. But I am washing clothes, so I do have to go soon. Hmm.
o chicha. O chicha. O chicha. What does that mean? Flour? O chicha. Or a, a type of flour? Oh, okay. There you go, in. So what happened to y'all? I mean, I guess we're going to find out, but for real, though. To remind you, when we were joined together, this one. Hey, man, get the fuck out of here. Women don't do that shit nowadays. Shit, I don't even know if men do that shit nowadays. Giving gifts to remind you of the first time we met type shit. So this is where she get pregnant. Yeah, my nigga in love. I think he said I love you in a uh, uh, mohawk mm -hmm. or Cherokee mm -hmm. one of those so this is season six we see we see everything now it's kind of crazy to see how in season one compared to season six of like just Every season, the more nudity they show, or like more, more, more. The Hugueru te ne Ogoli Goa, Aguasique, Watoespe, Lawe Liago, Watinum Waladu. Where's the subtitles, man? <laughs> I can't laugh. You, Wolf's brother, you tell us a story. No, 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 Yes, no, you no. tell us a story. Yes. Uh, this is my story. Being here with, with all of you, I couldn't have a better story. What of your your life before? Exactly. Of your your great journey across the sea, and the, the woman with green eyes, the 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 bakra. Oh, the bakra. Let my husband have it. He tells much better stories when he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Get to drinking, ma, man, ma. I said ma. Trying to say bruh and man at the same time. Right. <laughs> she she was a she was a witch. No, she wasn't. Wicked woman. Yungwe. Oh, shit. That was you with her, huh? I I'm sorry. I can't say it in Mohawk. Was it with? I don't have the words. I think it was. I can't remember that then. shit. About your home across the sea. Damn, bro. You, your story is crazy as fuck, bro. Um, yeah. When... When the sheep are in the fold and the kite at him and oh. <clears throat> all the weedy waddles. If I went back in time and was with Star all them and they told me to sing a song from the time before, you know, I don't even know what song I would sing. Here. I will sing this song How about that. <laughs> Not this song, but you know the opening. Why, oh my good man, lie sound by. Or some Michael Jackson or something like that. <laughs> He'll call me a wicked man. If I dance like Michael Jackson, start moonwalking. <laughs> what is this movement? <clears throat> oh, Malka? Oh, God. Fucking crazy. Have a whole bunch of indigenous people doing moonwalks and <laughs> shit. That'd be crazy. Oh, 
ਨੇ ਕੋ ਹੁੰਦਾ maybe she died during that childbirth they did that before in this show i think no i think they haven't done this did that in this show yet i hope not cuz ian's really happy but then again he's not with her so that's why i'm thinking miss your home or she tells him to leave you are my harm go to my home i knew it i knew it they always say that shit both of you baby's coming baby's coming am i my love so well uh. Please don't make the fingers. Forget our us. Kick stuck up. What? What? What are going to go Sunday? Hey, you need a a a Claire. Literally, you need Claire. Her success rate is literally like 99%. I only seen her fail one time. By an old custom. But your spirit is not Mohawk. What? No. I can't even believe that. It is only an excuse because you think I'm no worthy. Return to your own people. Among them your spirit will be strong. No. Damn. Why your Huawei agrees. Damn. Damn, boy, that's like the Hmm. With my wife. You have food for 3 days. You are a good hunter. No. Ooh. I am flesh of her flesh. Bone of her bone. I need more. Shit. That's fucked up, bro. I think it's that I'm marching my ass right up in here. Yo. Oh shit. That's fucked up. Got with him? Is this what you want? That's what you want. Damn. Let her speak. You don't say a damn thing, boy. I knew I didn't like you from the start. Please. It is what must be. That's fucked up. Go. Leave. Leave. Ooh. Yeah, I'd have left too. And still he fights for y'all. What? Seems you fought as hard as you could. You had taking out great force. But you have left. If it had been anti-clear. Not the same lad. But then you think I have it in me to give the rifles to Chief Bird tonight, expecting a celebration. Right. Don't rush. Sleep now. You don't tell Chief Bird. We'll do it in the morning. Right. Damn. 
Hell, I never. You must be Mr. James Fraser in the flesh. Who the hell is you? And the camera. One they call Scotchy. Aye. There was a time I was the only Indian agent who could fit that appellation. <laughs> I've heard such tales of you. Fair dying was out to meet you and see if they were true. Bear killer. Yeah. I can the Cherokee have a deep reverence for bears. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> You're the uh, agents to the Overhill Cherokee, you know. It brings you east. Aye, we come to marry off a last to Chief Bird and could trade. I see there is a Mohawk here trading as well. Aye. Bird cannot stop himself from boasting about the rifles you brought. A hundred, he said. I come to find. <laughs> you also said you might have brought some whiskey. Aye. Mm -hmm. Some of my last good barrels. Care for a wee dram, would you? <laughs> One dram becomes two, becomes three. What's after three? Twelve, in your case. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Quiet land in Tennessee. Bought from the Overhill Cherokee. Others are buying as well. Bet you a good deal. Call it a fever for a fellow Scot. It was against the treaty to take land so far west. King made a promise to the Indians not to settle beyond the treaty line. But if the Indians choose to sell, then that's a different matter, eh? It is inevitable they push west. You have enough land. I don't know I'm being... He ain't lying! Nor should you. You're risking your neck. Uh, my neck's been through worse. I was hoping to interest Chief Bird. The trouble is... Stan Moore came along. A year of it. It'll cause an uproar and ruin my deal. Wow. So he got a place, a uh, piece of land in Tennessee. With that? Yes, but only for a few moments. Is it dangerous? No, no, not at all. Mm hmm. And Malva? That's why I need to do the test. Now, I can't easily operate on someone and give them ether at the same time, but Malva is my apprentice. She needs to practice. I'll go first, Lizzie, in case it goes awry. <laughs> That's ever so brave of you, Joe. Aye, that is brave, Josiah. Here we go. Concern for me. But I'll go first. I'm not afraid. Very well. Should we get started? Two drops on the cloth. That's not two drops. Hi, mistress. About to put this woman in a coma. Listen to Don't breathe it in. Don't want you falling over in the middle of an operation. Crazy ass. Oh. <laughs> that should be crazy as fuck. <laughs> now, Lizzie. <sighs> breathe deeply. Count with me. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. Three. That was fast. You could take it off her face now. No. You can feel it when a patient starts to come round. It's a vibration to the skin. Place your hand here. Now, can you feel that? I do. Now, during the surgery, we wouldn't want the patient to come round so quickly. What the hell are you about to do? She doesn't even feel it. Mr. Fraser says we could cut someone quite open, slice into them and get out what's ailing them, and they wouldn't feel a thing. Until she wakes up. Bring the patient round now. You can Papa. remove the mask. Jeez. She just did it so fucking fast, too. Look, yeah. Ow. My finger. You want to begin? We did it, Lizzie. It's over. You've been fast asleep. I have now. 
Best way to convince her is to show her. Josiah? He just inhaled and everything. He's mm? Mary and Joseph. And you can't kind of wake up until you take the mask away. No. But you wouldn't want a patient to be under for too long. Where does the soul go? It doesn't go anywhere. It stays with him. But he's not dead. He's just asleep. It's different for everyone. Sometimes you dream, especially right before you wake up. And uh, sometimes you see things, but it's all in your mind. You've done wonderfully. Thank you. Never seen the like. As if we killed him and brought him back to life again. <laughs> See now when my father says it's devil's work. See no one but God has a right to do such things. Of course he would. Perhaps you better not tell him, huh? Don't you think it, mistress? Stop me from coming. Man. Do more than that. <laughs> <laughs> King George and Royal Governor Josiah Martin send you these rifles with their compliments. They hope you'll be pleased. My pleasure is not all they hope for. No. Promise of loyalty as well. I desire that as much as they do. Today is a day of celebration. Let's have no talk of war. I'd like you to greet my new wife. What? Man, get the fuck out of here. This... She asks for no promise of loyalty to anyone but her. Where is your faithful brother Wolf? Gonna fear. He's not abandoned me. <laughs> I'm with my kin. There is some who did not want you to leave. Were you one of them? Did they have a... A son. He brings them much joy. He was walking when we left home. That's fucked up. No, uh, you turned my wife against me. You stole her hand. Let's hear that story around the fire. Shall we? You saw one man's happiness and wanted it for yourself. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, hey, let him get it out. Let let him let him do this. Yes, then. Enough. I don't need trouble out of you. Your training's done. Pack and go. Oh, bear killer! Winfield Scott. My daughter says a uh, general. It is good you have given us the weapons, then. Oh. Twenty muskets against twenty thousand. It will not save you. What is the benefit of your warning, then? Damn. I kind of warn many. If I did, they would call me a madman. But I can warn you. You should not go to this new place or fight. But when the time comes, your people must hide. And by hiding, 
They will uh, escape what is to come. I hope so. If you pass this warning to your descendants, then perhaps they will escape and live. Yeah. Sons. And my son's sons. But we will remember. And whoever you fight with, be it King George's men, or our enemies, fight for yourselves. That's exactly what they did, too. This wife you have, did you pay a great deal for her? She cost me almost everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If only you knew. It was worth it. She's worth it. She worth it. Because she did the exact same for him. That's how you know somebody's worth it. If they, they do the same shit, they, they're willing to do the same shit or something like that. You feel me? You're some... Oh. No. It was just... No fit much, though. Are you, Lizzie? Y'all better become a thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. She likes both of the uh, twins, so I think it's going to be weird. But then again, I don't, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. What is it you write in your book? Well, mainly recipes for medicines, but also surgical notes. Would you like to take a look? Why do you write down the things that you've done? The recipes, I can see how you could forget, but why do you do these drawings and write down how you took off a toe with frost rot and the like? Because every person's body is different. But well, the most important reason is so that others can benefit from what I've learned. Like me? Yeah, that's why I couldn't be a doctor, man. You a surgeon well, or anything. Like, nah. My brother doesn't like it. You gotta spend ten years learning something about the had to look in your human body, and you still don't even know about spells it. it. Spells? Is that what he thinks? He warned me not to touch it for fear of ensorcelment. But I do find it enchanting. Well, I'm glad. They're back. <laughs> Mother, would you mind staying to straighten up? You're back a day later than I expected. It's a trouble. <sighs> Aye, only a slight delay. <laughs> you were Mohawk there. It's me and you, Kent. Oh. You told me everything that happened to him. But, uh, I don't think I have the strength to tell it now. Maybe tomorrow. Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna start saying that shit. I ain't got the strength to tell you today. Give me till my. You always be, <laughs> you always be Scottish. Uh, Just find a way to be both. That's a good thing, isn't it? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. I can't be two things at once, Claire. A rebel. A loyalist. Agent for the crown and an enemy of the king. It's pulling me apart. Shh. 
shit. It's time to change horses. Huh. I will resign as Indian agent. I write a letter tomorrow. You know. I mean. Last time you came back from the Cherokee. <laughs> oh, here we go. You could hardly keep your hands off. I was about to say, his mission is done, basically. I hope not too tired. Oh, God. You is a peeping Tom. She is really fascinated by uh, Claire. Clearly. You feel me? But yeah, that was, fun. that was fun. That was fun. Nothing too crazy in that one. I thought it was going to be like a whole bunch of dying, but this is in the middle of the um, season. Usually the crazy shit happens after the middle. So episode four. So episode five, probably going to be like, okay, this is the real problem of the whole shit. And then six is probably going to be another episode like this and then seven and eight and nine will be a whole bunch of bullshit at least that's why i i figure it's gonna be like so next see next episode is gonna be some bullshit no, next episode definitely gonna be some bullshit i know i know that's how this shit go and this this uh season doesn't have that many episodes in it, it has how many eight oh shit i thought it had nine so okay so next one is gonna be bullshit Next one after that, it's gonna be oh, right, fuck. Okay, all right. I don't know at this point. You know what? I'm just talking shit at this point. You know, maybe we're gonna get two fucked up episodes, and then Sticks and Stones will be all right. Then I'm not alone. <sighs> it's all right. It's cool. It's cool. So I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, you know, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. And uh, yeah, you know. If y'all want to support the channel, just join the um, Patreon. Check out my short films. And as always, thanks for watching. Deuces.